Hi everyone. Welcome to Ninja. Um, we're about to get started with some fun ninja stuff. Also, just to let you know, we did our drawing for um, our open gym pass and Amelia Kushik won. So congrats, Amelia. Yay, Amelia. We're going to be doing that every single time you participate and post on our page, like a picture or a video, um, your name goes into the drawing. So she did it a lot last week, so her name went in a lot of times, and she won. So congrats, Amelia. Um, make sure you can, guys continue with that this week. And we're going to get started with the Tabata now. We're going to do sit-ups and jumping jacks. So we're going to be working for 20 seconds and then resting for 10. Let's do it. Which one are you starting with? I'm going to start with jumping jacks. Yes. Ready? Zero, 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 seven. We're locked out of the music. Push your heels to the floor. And then you could bicycle your feet a few times. Good job. Let's walk all the way to our plank now for 10 seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. And down to your mermaid. Try to keep your feet together and look over to one side, look back at your toes, and to the other side. And then you could try to touch your toes up to your head. Neither of us can do it, but let us know <laughs> if you can do it. Good, now we're gonna push back to our cat stretch. Good job, Gigi. Thank you. Very nice work. Lock your hands Excellent. to one side. Those jumping jacks with your hair fall out. And the other side. Good job, and now let's do silly cat. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Good job. Now we're going to stretch our wrist out, so let's go on our hands and knees for Dizzy Dog. We're going to be doing some handstands today, so this so is really important. important. Make sure you really stretch your wrist out. Put your hands like this. And down. See if you can get your arms straight and keep all of your fingers on the floor. And if you can do that, try to lean back a little bit. Good, now we're gonna put them like this. So fingertips are still facing your knees. And pull back. Keep your whole hand on the floor. Don't let the palm of your hand come up like this. Good, and now we're just gonna roll our wrist out. 
and shake him up. And roller coaster. Ooh, backwards roller coaster. Backwards roller coaster. Three, two, one. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Now let's do our tabletop. So feet in front of you, feet together. Let's go sideways. Hands behind you, and belly up to the sky. Awesome. Let's hold for ten seconds. Ready? One. You can two, go on your tippy toes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna stay up and move our feet out to our sliding board or reverse plank. Keep your belly up to the sky. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Come down. And we're gonna go right to our plank. Straight knees, pointed toes, sit up super tall, and reach up to the sky. Keep your back flat and reach forward. Keep your knees straight when you do this one. Let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. Now we're gonna move our feet to our straddle. So straight knees, pointed toes again. Reach up super tall, so flat back, arms right up to the ceiling. Turn to your right and lean over, belly to your knee. Good job, back up, flat back, turn to your left and lean over, belly to your knee. Awesome, and back up. This time we're gonna lean flat and see if you get your belly flat on the floor. <laughs> Not us, neither of us can. So Gigi, I have a challenge for them today in our shadow position, really quick. I want you to put one hand on one side of your right knee and one on the other and try to lift your right leg up without jumping it off the floor like this. Keep it straight and lift it up like this. Ooh, so you have to make sure that your hand's not here. You have to be reaching forward. Your weight is on your hands and then you're using your belly muscles to lift your leg up. Mm -hmm. So your, your hands at least are by your knee. If they could be farther in front of your knee, that's even better. Try to keep your hands flat. I can't do that. But if you have your hands here, then you're just going to lean back and you won't be using your abs. So you try it on each side. Forward. It's pretty tricky if you do it correctly. Oh, that was good. I notice how we're not kicking them up like this. That's not doing anything. If you want, you could try it in the middle too. Yes, both legs. Let's see. <laughs> I'm a little bit. Of <laughs> there you go. Flat hands. I <sighs> can't do it with flat hands. I'm not as strong as you guys. <laughs> all right, I think we're all stretched out. Mm -hmm. So let's stand up on our feet and we are going to get started. So we're gonna start with some conditioning today. You're going to need, I'm gonna use this chair, but if you have like a table or anything that is stable and that you're allowed to put your feet on. So we're gonna start with our plank shape. I want you to try to hold it for 30 seconds. So you're gonna put oh, your wow. feet on. Hands on the floor, my hand, my shoulders are directly above my hands. I'm not like this. Shoulders directly above, and it'll be harder if you have just your toes up. Oh, very good, Gigi. So tight belly, push out of your shoulders. You don't want to be slouching like this. Push tall. Only her feet are on the chair. If that's too hard, you could have more of your, your legs shins. on the chair. That makes it a little bit easier. So try to hold for 30 seconds and then after that you're going to turn around and you're going to do your push-ups so my hands go on the edge i'm back in that tight shape really nice line from her shoulders down to her toes or her heels sorry nice tight shape here so i'm going to push up get my chest all the way to the chair and back she's staying in that tight shape the whole time so i want you guys to try 10 of those after 10 push-ups you're going to go back to your plank shape but this time you're going to do shoulder taps so you're going to do 10 shoulder taps. So back to that plank shape. Like this. You want to try not to go like this. Move in your hips. You want your body to stay in that tight shape. Just like that. Very nice. You so, guys will go that through that three times. The yes. whole thing she just did, you'll do each one three times. So 30 second plank, 10 push-ups, and 10 shoulder taps. That's one round. You need three. Okay. <laughs> then... We're going to come over here, and if you have two chairs or stools or anything like this that's pretty stable. Make sure they're sturdy. 
yes, we're going to try this today. So I'm going to come in the middle, one hand on each, straight arms, and I'm going to lift my knees up to my belly and try to hold. So you want to make sure when you're doing this that you have strong arms and you're pushing out your shoulders because if I'm slouched like this, it's going to be really hard to keep myself up. So straight arms and knees up to your belly. So I want you to try that for 10 seconds. And if that's easy, you could either try for 20 or 30 seconds, or you could try to do it with straight knees in your pike. That's really tricky, and I don't know if I can do that one. I think you can. <laughs> this is her pike position. She's keeping her arms really strong, right? Good awesome. job, Gigi. And then another challenge you could do is start with your feet back here. So it's like I'm in a plank shape. Like this, and then from here I would lift my knees to my belly and bring them forward to my reverse plank. So this is that reverse plank that we practice. Nice tight shape here. She's not letting her butt hang down. Good job, Gigi. Thank you. So you could go through that three times too. So your tuck hold for as long as you can, pike hold, and the what is this even called? <laughs> it's like a glide drill. Yeah. You can make a tower in the middle Ooh. and try to go over them for that. So she lifts her knees over and to the front and build it as high as you can. See what you can get to. Awesome. Very okay. Good job. So that is all of our conditioning. Make sure you go through it three times. And our skill, we're going to work on those handstands again. But last week, we worked on tapping the towers in our handstand. So that is preparation for handstand walk. So we're going to go back to our handstand with our butt over our head on the couch if you're allowed to use it. And I'm gonna to try to walk back and forth without breaking my shape. So, butt over your head, covering my ears, straight arms. And I'm gonna walk all the way down and all the way back. Very good. I'm gonna put some obstacles in there for her. Oh, yes. she's back there. This isn't my way. So Abby is putting down some books to make it more challenging, I'm going to try to step over the box with my hands. Okay. So right back to my handstand. Good job. Awesome. And you can build those towers up as high as you'd like. Yes, you could be creative, make it more difficult. And then I want you to see how many times you can go back and forth on your couch. So that's your challenge for the day. Um, make sure to take pictures and videos of that and all of the conditioning. I would love yes. to see how you do on those um, stool wands, all of it. So make mm -hmm. sure you take pictures and videos. You'll get your name submitted to win an, a free open gym at the end of the week. And we'll be back tomorrow at 10.30 for some more Ninja Fun. I'll see you Bye. then. Bye. Bye.